Well, hello everyone, Steve Wiss here, and I am doing a video basically to give my reaction to the shock news today from Norway that Garbacker is moving from Lillestrøm to Valerenga, the manager of Lillestrøm, is moving to their arch rivals across the city of Oslo um, in a move that I never saw coming in a million years. I'm sure a lot of other people didn't either. Um to put things into perspective, these two sides absolutely hate each other, these two clubs. It's probably the most bitter hatred rivalry in the whole of Norway. When these two play in the derby, then it, it may it arguably is the biggest number one fixture of the calendar in Norwegian elite area. And so this is like sort of like Arsenal against Spurs, um, you know, Rangers, Celtic, Man United, Liverpool. It's kind of like the equivalent of Mikel Arteta jumping... Uh, ship from Arsenal to Spurs tomorrow or Jurgen Klopp even moving from Liverpool to Man United. It's an unbelievable move for, for Gerbacker. Um say so never saw this coming in a million years. Um, he said that he felt things were getting a little bit tired at Lillestrøm, felt like it was a good time to move on. A change of uh, manager perhaps was a, a good thing. Um, a change of environment was a good thing for him. Um there's a few reasons. I'm, I'm amazed that he's he's left Lillestrøm because that club feels like in a good spot. If you, there's always a question: which is the biggest club, Lillestrøm or Valerenga? Now, that is a, an answer I can't really give. In my opinion, I think it genuinely is quite close, actually, between the two clubs in terms of size. Um, but there's no doubt, in my opinion, Lillestrøm as a club are in a far better place right now than, than Valerenga. They've been in a really... I mean, Garbacker, Garbacker came in and took over in the Obosli game, which is the second tier after they got relegated. So that was a risk in itself. Um, but he he took them straight back up. He's taken them to two straight fourth-place finishes in the league and also a Norwegian Cup final this season, which they lost against Brandt. So, yeah, they've been doing well. They had a, a decent European adventure as well uh, last year in the qualifiers. So it's been a good, a really good rebound for Lillestrøm. Uh, on the field and off the field, their recruitment seems a lot better. Uh, they've had good youth coming into the team, the structure. It did them good to go down and come back up, and they've completely restructured themselves. Uh, Gar Backer himself is a good manager. You know, he had a he took Sarpsborg to a medal um, a few years ago. He took Sarpsborg to the knockout phase of, uh, of the Europa League, I think, or certainly they had a good group phase anyway. I can't remember exactly how far they went, actually, in that competition. But this is a risky move for him because I think mean, Volarenga are not a club uh, in anywhere near as good a state as Lillestrøm. Um, they've been a mess for, for years on and off the field. You look at their managers that they've had in, you know, since they they last won the gold medal in 2005, and that was Chetil Rekdal. Um, since then, they've only, uh, they've hardly had at many medal positions, just one medal position. That was third place in 2019 um, in the last 12 years. So you look at the managers they've had, Rekdal from 2012 to 2015, Ronnie Dyler, a very well-regarded um, manager. He Ronnie Dyler couldn't even finish in the top five in four seasons with Volarenga. Uh, for Germo, as I aforementioned, it did take them to that medal in 2019. Uh, but since then, it was a seventh-place finish, a sixth-place finish before he was sacked a few weeks ago. Now, those are decent managers. You know, so that suggests to me the problem at Volarenga is not the manager, but it's other factors at the club, probably recruitment, the way the club is run. You know, you look at the president, other things, off the field things, really. And um, that is that, that's a risk when you're joining that that sort of ship. You're wondering, you know, is that the right decision for Gerbacher? He's le leaving a very promising position at Lillestrøm to a much more riskier role now. Why has he moved? There's a lot suggesting maybe they've offered him a huge wad of cash that he can't turn down. Maybe they've offered him full control over certain things which he can't resist. Um, I would be financially, I would be surprised if Volerenga have got a lot more resources than Lillestrøm. You know, I'm talking significant resources to tempt him here. And it's one of those where whatever contract they've offered, surely Lillestrøm could potentially offer something similar. So I am like, you know, it's not like he's moving to an Arab state where the money is sick and stupid and, you know, and it's really difficult for certain people to turn that down in some quarters. So, you know, if the, the answer might be financial, but I, I just, I'm not buying that. It's strange. He, he does have a connection to the club. He was the manager. So the assistant manager for five years 
in the early 2000s, was part of that gold medal winning setup in 2005 when he was assistant. So perhaps there's a historical link to the club, which he still retains, um, which perhaps has lured him. But this is dangerous territory. Um, the I cannot overstate how bitter rivals these two clubs are. The fans hate each other. These two derby games per season are some of the best, um, you know, affairs, atmospheres, the whole in the elite area. And 22nd of October, you don't want to miss that game. Lillestrom against Volarenga. He is good. Guy back is going to need an armoured guard to get in and out of that stadium. Um, and he's going to need body protectors whilst he's on the touchline because he is going to get abused like mad. Um, you know, I used the word Judas in a tweet earlier. This really does feel like a bit of a Judas move. Uh, it really mid season as well. Unbelievable. Um, a, an active manager of Lillestrom has moved to Volarenga. Um, it's out, unbelievable. I've ne- I can't believe this um, at all. Uh, it's one of the most sensational news stories I've ever known since covering Norwegian football. So I just thought I had to do a quick reaction video here. What do you guys think? What do you think about this? Is it a good move for Garbacca? Is it a good move for Volarenga? Um, you know, Volarenga fans, are you happy with him? I mean, there's no doubt about that um, they'll be happy that they've nicked a good boss from their arch rivals. But is he a good fit for this club? If things start to go wrong, will he be tainted with the, oh, he was part of the Lillestrom setup sort of paintbrush? Um, so we'll have to wait and see. I don't actually think it's going to work out. No one seems to work out at Volarenga. So until they really sort themselves out more off the field, then I can't back any manager coming into this setup. So I actually think um, he, he will may well join the long list of candidates recently where they leave without a medal without a trophy and without really making any significant project, uh, progress. So I don't think it's a good move for him professionally. Uh, uh, it may well be a good financial move. You'd hope it is. <laughs> it's got to be worth it, right? Um, but re- really risky manoeuvre and a, a shock, a massive shock in, in Norway. Um, like I say, you cannot un- can't underestimate how big this rivalry is. So be interested to hear your thoughts. Those are my thoughts on the matter. I still can't quite believe it. Um, unbelievable move for Gerbacher. Uh, we wish him the best of luck, but my word, he's going to need it, I think.